Hi guys, how are you all doing? It's pretty late here. Um, I sat in the living room on my own. Again. <laughs> uh, just watching a bit of Netflix. Oh, sorry, there's something in my eye. I always does. As soon as I come on here, my eye starts. Um, so I'm just sat watching a bit of TV on my own. Kids are all in the rooms. It's watching this police PD doc. A dash cam or something where you see the police from the America arrest people and oh my god I've just seen one where a cops has been dragged sorry my eyes do me in so today I have what have I done um oh yeah I went down to the pharmacist to get some medication because I thought I would do it and now I've got none till I can get to see the GP because usually I get mine dispensed weekly, so I go on each week, but I thought, oh, why well, I haven't had a text message from the pharmacist to send me scripts ready, and now I know because I don't, the doctors haven't sent it, so I'm just close this door a little bit, because I can hear what the kids are doing, and I don't want to interfere in. Sorry, I feel like I, I feel really late. I've just had a bowl of cereal. And, sorry. And my belly feels like it's out a mile. <laughs> so, I'm watching something on TV. <laughs> Let me just pause, um, mute it because I'll, I'll pause it. i pause it so you don't hear it in the background. So, I basically today I've just been... I don't know what I've done. Has anyone ever got brain fog that bad that you don't really know what you've done? <sighs> anyway, I am a bit ticked off, to be honest, today because Iceland, uh, I, you know, I like to shop there. And I have done in the past because they're very, you know, staff's nice, delivery guys are nice and friendly, ask how you're doing, they help as much as they can. But today, I kind of will let down a little bit. And he didn't, <laughs> my food was not like it should have been. You know, like freezer wise, it was soft. Now, my delivery was supposed to be at 12 till 1. Didn't arrive. And then I got an email, 1 till 2. Didn't arrive. And then I missed a phone call, which was obviously from Iceland, because I was in the middle of a conversation down at the shop doing prescription because I ain't got it <laughs> um, and then I, I listened to voicemail and I'm not kidding he, this guy I don't know if they were the manager delivery guy whoever it was did not sound great you know he was like sorry about your delivery not turning up um, it's gonna be around about four o'clock if that's okay it just literally sounded pee oh one minute, my neck keeps seizing up. It, it sounded peed off, couldn't be bothered. And I thought, what kind of attitude is that? Now, you're having a bad day, yeah, fair enough. But when you're talking to a customer, sorry, my glasses are beaming off again. Uh, when you're talking to a customer, sorry, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with camera. Uh, when you're talking to a customer, you don't talk to them like, you, you know, <laughs> an attitude. Well, I'm not saying that, actually. It was like he was fed up, wanted to go home, and he goes, Staff are found in sick, and got no one to cover your delivery until four o'clock. Something along the lines. Anyway, I thought, you know what? But previously, I did go on Facebook, you can contact Iceland, and I said, What's going off? Because it said 12 to 1, then 1 to 2, and then. That were it because, until I come home, and I said, I'm not being funny, but that person did not sound professional. Yeah, we all have bad days, but we don't, you know. He, I mean, when I helped, when I was doing home care, because that's a job I loved, and you know, I loved working with the elderly and some were younger, and I used to, in, I can interact more with the elderly than I can with kids, <laughs> not that being. You know what I mean? Working with children. I did. I have worked in, in a school, and it, this wasn't for me. Um, but if I were having a bad day, 
I won't go into that house and go, mm, you know what, I'm fed up, blah, 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 blah. I won't, I'd put a fake on, smile, and act like, yay! Which I did on a few occasions, especially when it's coming to that time at night as well, and you're tired, and you're like, I just want my bed. And I think that's probably what that guy did, he was just fed up. Everyone was probably ringing in sick, so I don't know what to do with my camera. I've, I've split my lip, and that hurt. Ah! Uh -huh. That hurt, I did. So, yeah. Don't, so, the, the Iceland's got back to me and said, I'm sorry for the way, you know, let me take your name, your address, and I'm going to pass it on to the manager. Now, then I, when I got my delivery, I found it with my thing. Um, the freezer stuff wasn't frozen. So, I've got, I, I put it in my freezer because I, I thought, depending on how long they've had it out there, my ice creams and I'll, I only got these because they were on offer if you buy three for ten or something but I didn't know what else to get so I got some like, they're like magnums but they're, oh what do you call that chocolate, um, I forgot what you call it but it's like cookie dough, it was cookie, chips and I don't know what do you call it, chocolate. It's something I don't like anyway, but I had to eat one, and I'm looking at my beans, it was like more really soft and it was about to go liquefied. I thought, waste of blimmin' money. So, yeah, so I thought the shopping didn't arrive anyway. So, I'm hoping I've now got to wait three or four days before I get that money back. That because I was hoping to make kids a bit, you know, I've got some fish. Got some chips and got some mush peas. So I was gonna make my own made fish and chips for tea, but got the chips, got the peas, but we didn't get the fish. <laughs> but anyway, they ended up wanting chicken from uh, one of the takeaways, which they're up to. And I'm like, no, I can't do it anymore now. All this cost of living, we need to budget properly and blah blah. blah. So yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I've just got to wait for. Um, a reply from Iceland. Yeah, and I did a review for some catnip the other day, and I got what she goes. Oh, you forgot to press the um, write down what you wanted as a free gift. Oh, and I said, oh, you know, what? I'm too busy filming Ronnie for for you to <laughs> think about. I forgot. I must have forgot. But you know what? She was, it was so quick. I really recommend them. But I, I don't know how much I can say because they uh, they we're gonna put it on the website before I can say the company. But I think I've I've told them before that I've advertised their products on my, my YouTube, and I got it today. Got it, yeah, I got it. What day are we on? I got it yesterday. No, <laughs> what day? Are we on? Wednesday. And by yesterday morning, I got received it. I'm like, oh, that was quick. So I've had to hide it because. Me, the older cats like it way too much. Have you probably seen in my YouTube shorts because I've done quite a few videos of that because I just find it hilarious and I find it hilarious. I'm hoping someone else does. It's it's just the kittens are not so much into it. They're more the spray that she's um, going to be doing, hopefully, because I'll be buying some of that for the kittens. Um, or, or I can't, I don't know how much I can serve it, but she, so she sent a sample to test, just so they know what they can use and what it affects it as on the uh, cats, and she sent a little toy mouse, now my kittens are crazy for mice, I've got them all dot, not real ones, the toy ones, and I've got, they're all dotted all over the place, I've stood on one and I've broke one, I bought some more today, and They've already wrecked one, and one's over there. One, you know, I dare didn't even pick this over up because I caught all their <laughs> toys are all. probably a load of fluffing all underneath there. And I got a million new coat down the local shop for a fiver. I thought that's a bargain. That usually they're about twenty quid, thirty quid for this. And so I've been having a dog walk earlier and try to clear my head a little bit because my head's a bit on my bum at the minute. And she looked so, I went, oh, you know what, this first jacket, I can actually say, was well, the best one I've had so far. Because I've bought stuff from, like, Pets at Home, and many, many moons ago, I bought this 
I think I bought it up in Scotland. Not Scotland. What am I saying Scotland for? Um, it's because I've, I've been looking at photos of Scotland. So it's not... A, it was like a reflective jacket with... One second. The dog's decided to come in. Um, it's like... It, had, it was blue and it had like a, a, light, a light that you could switch on and off. Um, and you could see your dog, where your dog was walking in dark. So yeah, sorry I've got this spot, one spot and it keeps scabbing up but I can't, can't leave it alone. So I'm going to do a video in the next few days about fibro and what, because there's many more things that, now I remember self bleed, there's things there that not a lot of people are aware of. Now I've not been aware of it but I kind of watch a lot of YouTube videos with doctors and stuff. I just, I, yeah, I'll get a bit, I need to know things, you know what I mean? Because when I got diagnosed a few years ago, Millie, what are you doing? Not a few years ago, when did I get diagnosed? I don't know, I can't remember, a good few years ago. Oh, sorry. And basically, I went to see this doctor because they couldn't find out what's wrong with me. I've got a slip disc and I'm constantly in pain with that. And they just said, well, I can't find them. Apart from something with your spine that you're probably born with. I think my, my low, bottom of my spine curls up. My mum's it's same. Um, but yeah. Hello, Millie. Look at Millie. Oh, gee, gee, gee. Thinking of taking her on the bus tomorrow to Leeds to go and get this prescription and then bring her back and then go to my mama's. Because I don't think I could take it to my mummy's. I'm not sure what she'll be like with you. Eh? Uh, she's scared of big doggies, but you're not big doggy, are you? You're not big doggy. Look at her smiling. Probably can't see, but she's got a proper grin on her face. So, what are we talking? Yeah, five. So, when I went to, oh, constantly back and forth, back and forth. After having Olivia, my back became worse. Um. I could barely walk, you know, I, felt, I, I constantly have drop falls. Well, not as much now, I haven't had one for a while. But, yeah, so he basically, I basically went to this surgery that I went to and I felt like I was only in there five minutes. He, he put a, foot, um, a leaflet right in front of me and went, got fibro and there's nothing we could do about it. Exercise more and you'll feel better. That is all I've got said. Thank you very much. If you need anything else, see GP. I'm like, what the? So I went out and cried my eyes out when I got outside. I'm like, how the hell is he a doctor? He just basically just kicked me out the door of it. That's what it felt like. I'm like, come on, you don't... You don't Millie, don't do that, please. You stop me, wire. You? you can laugh all you like. Um. But so, yeah. So, quit. Quiet. What the? So, over the years, I have been noticing posts with fibro and more other issues that can you can get from it. Alfie, I've kept my old boy in because my, my ginger cat in because he's getting a bit old now and he's getting a bit slow and I'm not getting good vibes. So. <laughs> um. But yeah, he just basically said, that's it, don't what else we can do for you, I'm afraid, but just do some exercise, that's what you're trying to say. As an exercise, you're telling someone that's in constant pain all day long, 24 hours, to exercise. Yeah, it might help some folk, but it don't, I can barely, I, if I walk too much, I'm like, seize up, and once I sit down, I cannot get back up. I've got like sticks are all around, <laughs> well crutches and a stick over there. I've got them all dotted around the place, just in case my back goes and I've got something there. Because I was walking home with Olivia from school and I thought I was a bit brave, I thought oh I've got a bit of energy. So I'll give it a piggyback. That didn't end well, I'm not kidding you, I've got halfway up the hill. One minute, that don't sound right. Sorry guys. 
My cat, um, now he's just, oh, uh, sorry, Mal, after all that, he's just got a bad tummy. Look at Anna with her wig. Look at that. Woo, woo. She's, she likes dressing up, don't you, Anna? Got to wait for your eye shadows coming so she can, it looks nice. It's, it's finished, rubbish. Uh, she likes, it's like, what is it? Chai, curry, curry and... Things up. and it's the air freshness. <laughs> Poor boy, he's getting old, and I, I, to be honest, I know when they start, he looks like he's a big cat, but he's losing weight rapid and he's now got the runs. So I'm starting to panic a little bit. Also, today I got something nice, but I think I've, I've told folk before about my ginger and white cat biscuit, who, are my, who was my best friend, my <laughs> support, you know, support, and I know it's, everyone got it's just a cat. But Millie, can you just get up? Millie, get up! You're on the white, move! Come on! <laughs> Sorry, boy, girl. Sorry, talk as it, dog. I'm just going to put my phone on charge. So, yeah, I lost my cat. Now you went missing around about this time, well, about July time last year, and he he was coughing a little bit beforehand, and I thought no, oh, of it, I thought oh, it's just fair bill, and it's that guilt is now kicking in, and I'm thinking I wish I, I wish I took him to the vets, but I just thought oh, cut a fair ball, you, you know, so I thought I had lost half my tooth in, um, and he went missing. And sadly, I've been told he's passed away, and I still cry every night for him. And when he went, I, I absolutely lost it. I thought, oh. now if I can find a picture, I'll put it put it up. But he's on my Instagram and on my Facebook. But if anyone's going to try and hide me on either Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, you need to tell me where. You from if you from if you watch me on here then just say oh YouTube and then I'll I don't mind hiding as long as you're not gonna <laughs> I I've just got to watch what I write on mine because obviously my family's on and I've got text them and etc. But yeah, so this is what I got today. So when you've lost a the animal, they did have a dog one, so I need to get a picture for this. But what it says is sadly missed. My special cat, your favourite chair is empty now where you would you would lie and sleep, but the memory of our happy times is mine to always keep. I got it from my local shop. I only went in for birthday cards and wrapping paper. Couldn't find I won't prepare to pay that price for wrapping paper when there was that much on it. And I've got Christmas wrapping paper and then I'm like, hmm. Shall I use <laughs> hot noise a birthday? I can't even thought about getting tissue paper and wrapping the presents up in that. I can't believe she's going to be 12 on Tuesday. And I've got a friend making one of those large cookies with a happy birthday and then some peanut m and because they're her favourite sweets. Um, so I've got that as a gift and I'm like, oh, I've got a few things coming tomorrow. And I'm like, I got let down with a cake and I paid a deposit and now I've been blocked. So I don't know what to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another cake in time. No one's answering me. I'm like, oh. um, But I don't think Olivia will be bothered. I'll just go to Hasta. I'm going to have to go to Hasta or make me own. But to put money down and then someone's ignoring you then and letting you down. And I'm like... How cruel can some people be? Or greedy, you know what I mean? I'm not greedy. If, if I can help someone out, I'll help them out. Whether it's just a pound or a meal or whatever, if I've got it, I'll, I don't mind. So this time, this Christmas, I did it. Not last Christmas. Oh no, I think I did it. No, I didn't do it. For two years I didn't do it, but I'm thinking about doing it again this year by getting some little bags, some. I don't have a paper bag or just like, I don't know, a carrier bag. And then putting a few little bits of like toothpaste, body, well, I don't know, deodorant, wipes, a few little snacks for the homeless people. And 
checking Olivia and because I, I like to show her, look, you, you can't just receive all the time. This is what it's like in real life. You give if you can. So before, if I'm in town and I've got a spare couple of quid and I see someone obviously sat wanting some money, um, it's not that I don't want to give them the money, but I'd rather go and buy the food and give it to them and then a hot drink, knowing that I, they're going to eat it. And I once did it with a lady, uh, she was outside Morrison's, and I saw her, I said, I can't do, help you at the minute, because I'm just going in and I've got no, I don't carry at the time, I didn't have any cash, I just used cash. So I got some sausage rolls, um, pop, no, water, a bottle of pop, a sandwich, crisps, biscuits, and a few little bits, and I took them out, and she goes, is that halal? I went, I've had the... <laughs> I didn't even think. I said the chicken is. So I ended up taking the sausages and the pot pies out because I didn't realise I just thought, you know, you don't though, do you? I thought, she been ungrateful. <laughs> but I went, yeah. I said, if I could help you a bit more, I would have done. But I thought, I didn't have much cash at the time. And I had my car as well at that point. And I'm kind of missing my car. Oh, and I've seen something on Facebook now. And I think, I don't know whether I said this in yesterday's vlog, but. Catrice stinks, I'm gonna have to go and clean it in a minute. But has anyone else get excited over new electricals? Now I'm just the fool for it. I won't let anyone touch it until <laughs> I've had a go. And I went ape one year, a few years, four year, three or four years ago, I got a, a Vax upright Uber and it arrived when I was not there. Um, you know, I think it was in 2017, and my kid, my son, used that. I know, I know, died. I went, and he goes, "What's the problem?" I said, "You don't understand." So now I've seen a Henry Hoover. Now I've got the Henry Hoover. You know, the little tub, tubby one. Now they've got an upright one. I'm like, if I had the money, I'd buy you. I said, but I don't, so I can't. And I'm like, oh, can't wait to get my hands on one of them. <laughs> so I'm going to probably wait till after Christmas and then get myself one. But I like my actual little chubby, I call them chubby Henry because with all these new electrical things coming out, I call them my little chubby. And then he gets his head stuck around. Well, it's not his head, it's a little tub. And you just see one eye popping out the corner. <laughs> and you're like, I try to pull your over and it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> It once scared me in the night, right? So I left the Uber in the hallway. I thought, right, I'll leave you there because I'm going to no doubt. Only, Anna, can you just spray, please, that cat tray? He's horrendous. I think I need to get him to bits. Um, um, what was I saying? <laughs> One night I went, so my bedroom's now at the back, back of the flat because I swapped rooms with Tom. Um, well, it was Olivia's room, but she wanted a small one. So <laughs> I got up to come to the toilet in the middle of the night, and I just saw this <laughs> set of eyes looking back at me. I was like, oh my, I forgot to move the Hoover with grin on face. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I like the Etty ones as well, but I prefer Henry. I know they all do the same thing, but like I said to my mum, if I get a new Hoover, you can have my Henry. She goes, Oh, I love a Henry Hoover. Well, I bet you do. <laughs> Every time you say something to my mum, she's like, oh, I want one of them, please. So she's after a reborn doll now because I said I got one and for love of the money, I cannot find it. Now, Olivia don't want to give away her J's doll, which is understandable because it's, I told her, don't you dare. <laughs> In the past, when she's had a mood and she's like, I don't want that. But my mum's, I've seen one on Amazon for 55 quid, so I may get her that as a Christmas present. And I've seen the new on Facebook. <laughs> I don't think the new, but I don't, to be honest, I don't know. The Grinch Christmas tree where it's up and then it sinks over the top. I went, well, my Christmas tree is going to be doing that. So it's not quite my buying a Grinch tree because my cats, the kittens, are worse for it. And they wait till bedtime and all and they get hyper. So they'll climb trees. So I said, I'm going to end up with a Grinch tree anyway by the time they're finished. So cause I, this year I was going to get a new Christmas tree. And because I've had this one for a good few years, and then 
kittens came along. And then I thought about it over there, like, you know, there's no point in me getting a new one. I'll wait till next year. They may have calmed down a little bit by then. Little, little so-and-so's today. They've had fish, they've had chicken. What else have they had? Um, can't remember. <laughs> or some catnip. And some whisker furball biscuits. Two for a pound, I think. No, I think it was a two. For, no, it was what a about a pound, I think, for a packet of whisker, cat ball, ball things from Erin. But be it's linked with B and M, isn't it? So, yeah. So tomorrow, I'm go. I need to go to Leeds to pick up this prescription in the morning, and then probably I don't know. I go straight to my mum's and then um. Because I've got Anna with me, so and she can go and see them and come back and clean mine. So I'll have to take the cleaning stuff, because i got my mum some new dishcloths, some cleaning stuff and some yoghurts. So those big onk, are they onk? Onky? Oh, I don't know. I know. I don't eat yoghurt. I'm not a big fan of yoghurt. But when I seen this, I went, oh, my mum will enjoy them because my mum has trouble with swallowing and she chokes a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I think, in it true? The second child gets everything of the parent because <laughs> I only ask because Tom I think he's got half the stuff that I've got. I'm like, the first child, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Second child, you hit with every blooming illness your parents have got. And, yeah, now Thomas is exactly the same. Han well, Hannah's autistic, but she's got not, she's not, like, mental health-wise. She did, she's had depression in the past, but she's okay physically. Where Tom, yeah, a bit crazy like me. Anyway, guys, it's pretty late now, so I think I'm going to wake up. Uh, so I'm going to go up now, and I might do a few... I think I did a few clips today. To I might put them in tomorrow's video. I might do a few videos. Uh, thing is, whilst I'm on my way to Leeds, have a little chat and on the bus, and see how that ride goes. Hope the weather stays dry because I don't let it wet through. Nothing worse than getting wet. Anyway, good night. God bless. If you like this video, press the thumbs up. Subscribe, press that notification button. And I will catch up with you either tomorrow or Sunday. Bye.